Hello Viz, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. If you are my oldest subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. If it's your first time to stop by, welcome, welcome. My name is Glory Mtui. Before you leave, I would like to remind you to hit the subscribe button below, turn on notification bell and help me to share this video with your loved one because that helps me a lot. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to do this jumbo box braid, no crochet, easy method even if you don't know how to grip the roots don't worry because after this video you're going to do your own hair i just started with fresh hair and after i make line i use this shine and jump gel to get clean sections if you don't have this you may use any kind of gel that works for you and i apply on the section then i redo the line again So in front part I'm going to make four sections so before I make this four section I make sure I make half of this section so that I can get four even section and after this I apply some gel again then I make the line again. After I get this section, I'll be using this wool or thread. You may use any kind. You may use this small one or you may use big one. So I cut just small piece. And before I use this thread to secure the section, I make sure I apply some gel on the section so that I can hold all the hair together because I'm going to work with big section. And as you can see, my hair is short. After this, I just secure with thread and then I secure twice before I trim the excess yarn again I apply some gel on the section to make sure I hold all the hair together and then I take this piece of yarn or wool wherever then I make sure I wrap a couple times then I secure two times and after that I trim excess yarn If your hair is more short than mine, you may decide either to go with more small section. In front part, you may decide to make maybe five or six. If your hair is too short and you feel like to make this big section, the protective style is gonna is not going to last longer. You may decide to put more smaller, or you may decide even this big section to see how long this style is gonna last. After front, I'm going to do exactly the same thing in back section. As I said, I'm going to work with big sections only. So back section, I make sure I only put two sections. And don't forget that this point gel is really very important when it comes to make the section because it's really help you to get very clean and neat sections so after this again i split the section just two like this then i apply gel to make sure i hold all the hair because at the back section some of the hair it's really too short so i use this comb to comb the hair just to make sure i hold all the hair together and then i take yarn and i secure I used yarn because a lot of people that have been complaining like rubber band really break their hair so I decided to try something new and I hope you'll find this method work for you because once you use yarn it's very easy and when you tie don't tie too much to cause any tension on your scalp then you will enjoy having this protective style. So after this, I use expression braiding hair. I use color one. Each one pack I cut into three. So each piece after I stretch, I braid only one section. So it means one pack I braid three section. Hopefully this makes sense. Before I attach the braiding hair, I make sure I apply some gel on the hair. Then I use elastic band 
if you don't have elastic band you may use the same threading to attach this braiding hair on your hair after this I take small portion of this braiding hair then I wrap on top just to make sure everything is well secured you may decide to wrap either two times or three times maximum don't wrap over there because once you wrap over four times or five times the knot is gonna be too bigger so to avoid that the best way is to wrap two times or three times maximum and after this I divided the braiding hair into three then one section I attach with my natural hair so two section I braid without my hair here every time when I braid I make sure I tuck my natural hair in well so that my hair will not show out then I keep braiding at this point the most difficult time is once you start how you'll tuck your hair in after you know how to tuck your hair trust me this process it's even more easy than the way it's shown and after this I keep braiding just the normal way till I finish this section when it comes to braid you may decide to braid under hands just like the way I braid here or you may decide to braid in another way I'll be showing you I think that is overhand and that is the method I like most because I feel like when I braid that way I braid more fast compared with this underhand method but don't worry I'll be showing you all this method all these two method and then you'll decide which method works for you again I attach braiding hair on my natural hair I take small portion of braiding hair I wrap two times to three times maximum don't forget after you wrap don't release the section you use wrapping because if you release that section the hair is going to slide out you have to make sure you secure that section well or you hold that section well then add a little hair in that section so that all the three section will be even and after this you may decide either the first section to braid be the one you use wrapping or the other side the important point is don't release the section you use wrapping to avoid the hair to slide out then keep braiding as you can see this time I show you to braid of hand I feel like this method for me I can braid a little bit first I don't know if it's true or it's just the way I'm thinking but I like to braid this way more than to braid and hand because this way I feel I braid more fast. If you feel like your session they are too big or you feel like you have too much hair, after you attach natural hair you may decide to separate your natural hair into two. So you may decide to put your natural hair into two sections to make it easy to tuck your hair in because if your hair is natural hair like mine I'm telling you it's a little bit hard once you braid big section with your natural hair so to make it easy to tuck your natural hair in you may decide to separate your hair into two so two section of braiding hair you may decide to add your natural hair and then braid I find also that it's more easy to tuck your hair in especially if your hair is natural and then keep braiding till end of the braiding once you make three even section at the beginning you'll find all the way braiding down you don't need to borrow any hair from either right section or left section because the three section is already even 
So all the way you bread just normal and your breading will be even. But if at the beginning the section you make one is bigger than other, of course yes, you have to borrow some hair from other section. Which if you are beginner it will be a little bit difficult. But don't worry. When you borrow hair, just borrow small section, then keep going. If you borrow small section, you'll find the hair does not show like where you are. But once you pick bigger section, your hair or your braiding is gonna show like where you borrow hair from other section. When I'm up through the night. I can't turn down the noise, tear all the worries out of my mind About who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe I can't get it right Remember the days I let slip away, they were simple at times Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own After I finish braid, I go ahead and I trim off all the excess hair just to make sure the section they are clean and neat. So total, I braid 10 sections or 10 braids on my head. And I hope you enjoy watching this video, guys, and you get something. If yes, kindly give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to share this video with your loved one. You wish they know how to do this hairstyle. I love you so much and I'll see you soon on my next video. Bye-bye.